Coming up in this video, some fun games for your classroom, so stick around. Game 1. Monkey Walk Materials Paper Cups So guys, the mechanics of this game is pretty easy or simple. All you have to do is arrange or prepare these cups and put them on the floor. Make one long wavy line for the kids. If you've got a lot of kids, you know, let them uh, crawl over these cups uh, by twos or by threes. and. Uh, you can put the flashcards or the target words at the end of this line. The other option is you can make two wavy lines and get two players and they have to crawl over these cups like, you know, they have to race to the flashcards. And you can practice the words with the kids. Game 2. Cups and Rings Race materials paper cups rings or hula hoops so to play this game guys all you have to do is prepare the cups and the rings or hula hoops um, alternately and put the flashcards in front of them you can make two or three or four lines or columns of this um, of paper cups and rings uh, depending on your space you've got and the students you've got and the time you've got as well so the aim of the players is to race to the flashcards by forming the three cups into a pyramid and then uh, pick up the rings or hula hoops and they have to go through it from head to toe until they reach the flashcards and practice the word. It's like a relay game. Game 3. Hop on. Materials. Count out colored footprints. So guys, to play this game, you need to prepare cut-out colored footprints beforehand. Um, in this situation, my lesson is about colors. So um, I draw some footprints um, on colored papers, and then I laminated them and cut them out. Uh, once you're in the classroom, all you have to do is um, spread out these colored footprints and then you can call out two students and um, the teacher will have to say a color and then the students will have to search for it and then hop on it and say the word or practice the target words. Game 4, 1, 2, 3, Shuffle Two. Materials. Foam playmat. So One. to play this game, guys, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is One. take some foam playmats in the classroom. Um, you can arrange uh, four or five or six foam playmats and um, arrange them in a One. circular setting and put the flashcards on them. Three and then um, call out the students yes. and um, they have to stand in front of uh, these um, floor mats or foam play mats and um, when you say uh, one they have to go to their right and when you say two they have to go to their left you know uh, you can play around with uh, one. numbers one and two until until then, when you have to say number three, they have to three, shuffle or three, exchange clear, places. Yeah. And then they have to identify oh, baby, or baby, practice baby. the target what? word, which is on their designated uh, foam playmat. Game five, Japanese walk race. Materials, laminated colored paper. So guys, the mechanics of this game is kind of challenging in the beginning, but once they've got it, um, it's very interesting and fun to play with. So um, this game mimics the Japanese girl who wears the traditional dress, and they have to walk like, you know, uh, like a Japanese girl by putting these um, four or five colored um, papers uh, between their knees, uh, between their 
armpits and between their neck and shoulders. And then、uh, they have to get one of the papers which will act as their fan. So they have to walk like a Japanese towards the flashcards. And once they've reached the flashcard, they have to say the target words. I mean, where are you? Game six Inflatable balloon sticks race. Materials Inflatable balloon sticks and chairs. So, guys, to play this game, you need to buy inflatable balloon sticks beforehand, and you know, you have to inflate it、uh, before the game starts. And then arrange the chairs、uh, into several columns. It depends on how you arrange it. It will serve as their you know,、um, trail or guide.、Uh, they can go in a zigzag motion, just like what you see in the video, or they can just go through the lines uh, you know, uh, directly to the flashcards in front of them. So you can play this game、uh, by twos or by pairs, and they have to ride on the inflatable balloon sticks. The second option is you can play this game individually and then ask the student to put this inflatable balloon sticks between their legs or between their knees and they have to jump off to the flashcards and back to their chairs and say or practice the target words. Game 7 Poke the flashcard. Materials Toy hammer. So, guys, this is probably the simplest and easiest、uh, game that you can do in your classroom. All you have to do is, you know, take two or three or four、uh, toy hammers in the class, and then you have to scatter the flashcards around the classroom in front of the students, and then、um, you can call out two or three students、uh, depending on your liking. And give them or hand them out、uh, those、um, toy hammers.、Uh, and then the teacher will say a word, and they have to search for that flashcard and then poke it and say or blurt out the target words loudly in front of the class. Game eight Find the popsicle stick. Materials Popsicle sticks. So, guys, the mechanics of this game is quite simple. All you have to do is spread out the flashcards on the floor, and opposite to those flashcards are two chairs. Call out two students to sit on a chair, hide a popsicle stick under one of those flashcards, and、uh, give a go signal. And then、um, the students will have to find or search for a popsicle stick. The first one who found the popsicle stick gets a point. So, usually I played with boys versus girls. That's why there are two cups beside the stools. So, later on the game, you can count who gets the most points. Game nine Popsicle sticks and cups race. Materials paper cups and popsicle sticks. This game requires a lot of paper cups and lots of popsicle sticks. So, all you have to do is make four columns of six cups and then、uh, put the、uh, popsicle sticks、uh, at the starting point of、uh, the paper cups, and at the end of the paper cups are the flashcards or the target words. Call out four kids or students, and then when you say go, they have to grab all the popsicle sticks. And they have to put these popsicle sticks one by one on top of each cup until they reach、uh, the end of uh, uh, the column where the flashcards are. And then they have to choose one of the flashcards and collect the popsicle sticks back to the front and say the target word. Okay, very good. What is it? Game 10 Head to Head Ball. Materials Soft Balls. So, guys, this is probably one of the easiest fun games that you can play in your classroom. All you have to do is arrange the flashcards、um, opposite to the players, and at your cue, ask them to put the ball on their forehead or between their heads. They have to move to the flashcards together by holding hands. The first one who reaches the flashcard wins the game. 
Oh no! <laughs>